Hello everyone, and as promised, uh, every other week is Retro Week for Matt Tries. Our special episode today, uh, you're seeing the title sequence for. And if we hold on for a few moments, there is actually an intro. And this is actually a very much direct sequel, even though it happens 500 years after the events of the first game. sequence. <clears throat> so essentially, you're playing a new young man who is taking up the lead character position. And uh, unlike uh, Wonder Boy in Monster World, uh, uh, Fantasy Star 2 here actually does allow you to save. As long as you don't actually load from a pre-existing save thing from a previous game via the system and not the actual game itself. If you do it that way, the saves tend to go all wonky on you. <clears throat> so you have to always start from a new game. And then pick the load. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know why I have a frog in my throat. But uh, as I was saying, take an actual load from the actual game program and not the actual system you're playing the game off of. And again, this is a part of a uh, RPG pack for the uh, Sega Genesis system available for PC via Steam. Uh, also, I should let you know that uh, the main character here is being followed by this uh, adorable purple girl here. Um, she is kind of a Japanese elvish looking character, and the background they give of her thus far is that um, there is something weird going on with the wildlife mission production. Essentially, wildlife is produced by machines, and for some reason, one of the machines, one or more of the machines, have gone wonky and started making monsters instead. And when they tried investigating one of them, she was found, and she looked to be about five years old. Apparently, in the couple of weeks since then, she has grown into adulthood and kind of stayed there. Which, I guess, kind of makes sense for at least the monsters, at least. They become adulthood, and they just keep breeding themselves if they don't get killed off by roaming masses of adventurers first. But, um, yeah, so, uh, I've been actually sitting here leveling up quite a bit, so I think it's time to actually go out and see what else is going on in the game. And since there's only one route, let's follow that route. I 
has the monster fight. Also, the fighting system here is a little different than normal. Uh, if I just tell them to hit the fight button, the top button on the bottom here, they will automatically just go into an all-out brawl. And keep doing that for every single turn. However, if you think that you need to use techniques or something, you do you can hit the OK button again, and it will come back to the selection stuff. And when you hit strategy, that means you can give a either a order for doing a special ability before they go into attacking, or to select run and get them the hell out of there. And actually, before I say last time, the main character here just learned a technique, so let's try that out. Um Nay here, the uh, monster girl, she doesn't really have an attack ability for sure. Um, she does have a healing technique, which is kind of interesting. And she also happens to be a, um, essentially a claw melee fighter. We'll see in a minute. That. Ooh, fire spell, okay, cool. Nuke him! And the uh, currency apparently in this world is Metza, whatever that's supposed to be in. I still have no clue what the hell these giant lily pads are. Just fight. Too, so that's why I kind of want to level a little bit more just in case. By leveling them more, I'm not sure that they actually got physically stronger, but they definitely got more uh, hit points and technique points, which you use instead of mana points because it's not actually magic. <laughs> oh, and I hate these snakes. These snakes have the ability to possibly, yep, paralyze you. Aha! This is my angry wild monster girl. She will claw your eyes out. Uh, by the way, the race, I'm not sure if they named the race at all in this game, but after this game, they do name her race as Newman. And yeah, pretty much they're like a new version of elves that was made from human DNA, a mixture of human and monster DNA. I'm not sure what kind of monster, and we probably don't want to know. All we know is somehow it made elves. Also, as the games go on, we also find animal people, as well as robotic humanoids. Ooh. I see that face, he's tried to kill Nate seven months ago, this is bad news, let's go back. Actually, no, it wasn't a couple weeks, it was actually a couple months ago that he found her. And yeah, people didn't know what to make of her, and tried to, uh, a few of them, a few of the really stubborn, stupid people tried to kill her. Even though she is very tame and very lovable little thing. Besides, who the hell would try to kill a little girl? There's actually a series called, uh, uh, Gaiden series for, uh, Fantasy Star 2, and one of them was actually a long, detailed background as to how the main character found Nay and, uh, what, what all happened to her before this point in the game, before the beginning of this game. Essentially, the numerous struggles that the two of them went through over a couple of months while she was growing up. Yeah, I'll 
also, I'm not sure if it's just my character or what, but Nay seems to be good at a lot of leveling. Oh great, this place looks blasted out. Oh. But hey, the gun shops are still open. I assume they kind of technically mean uh, steel knuckles. Yes, please. No, we're good.
Oh, I will keep that action cast now, unless I tell myself to do otherwise.
supposed to be staircases. Or lifts or something that sounds making it sound like staircases, but I'm not entirely sure of that. Oh my god. I'm not sure we can run away from this. So I have one order. Kill him with fire! I think I'm heading back up and heading back to town if I can escape this alive. Ouch. Yeah, I ran out of the building points. Oh, we're probably so bummed right now. unlock and appear at your house when you go back to it. Also, I found out that um, shields and defense overall doesn't really do much for you in this game. But what really does matter is if you have uh, two weapons equipped, you actually get attacked twice in one round. Two bow guns, excellent. Upper coat, which I also have, excellent. And you got boost, which is what I have. So yeah, all right, he's he's already packed and ready to go. Let's get this show on the road. So what I've also figured out is is that the uh, guy that we get can't get past to the west. Uh, apparently, he is a thief, and he is committing these atrocities in order to collect the money he needs to pay off some evil group that kidnapped his daughter while also uh, barraging that particular crappy looking town that we encountered. So here we go! Hey! She's gotten better. I also believe that uh, even with the dull damage you also get uh, slight advantage in damage as well, so also having two weapons equipped at the same time also increases how much you want that does, by a little bit at least.
there she goes again. Blind at those guys' eyes. I'm not particularly sure. I have not looked into gear I want to get, but I'm definitely thinking that if I can do so, I want to definitely get me some double swords then. Before we go into that the next dungeon area. So it seems like a double attack. And then, uh, in essence, do six attacks in one round. I get the feeling we're going to be doing some pretty heavy damage and gaining lots of experience and cash relatively fast. And apparently, you can only have four characters on a team at a time, but there's far more than just four characters. And you need them for certain things uh, in the game, for certain levels. They're, they are better for certain parts of the game. So you will be switching out to uh, members frequently. Apparently even Nate here will not actually stay in the party all the time.
most of the uh, magic abilities, if you will, you can most of the tech abilities you can usually use outside of combat as long as they're not just a fighting technique. So they can heal up the entire party between fights. And we're in good shape again. Keep it up. Patience with it. 
you can't just go hurrying off everywhere. Um, you do need to do quite a bit of leveling. Even the walkthrough who said you need to do quite a bit of leveling. In order to prepare yourself for the beginning of the game. Oh yeah, and the Costco stuff when you get more characters in here. like Eris did in Final Fantasy 7, so yeah, I'm not particularly looking forward to that. Uh, but other than that, um, it still seems like a pretty good game, and this is before, uh, again, way before Final Fantasy 7, so sort of knocked that off of this game. And, um, this I believe is technically before Final Fantasy 6. Maybe even before Final Fantasy IV, I'm not entirely sure. But 
but it was out there around around the same time as 4, I think, and it has some interesting ideas. If you're not all about sitting around waiting for people to get ready to actually do an attack, then this is definitely more your RPG style, because it is definitely more turn-based. And, and by turn-based, I mean it really quickly decides at the beginning of each round what, who gets when on what turn. Who gets to go when on that turn, so... Yeah. Uh, that's... This game in a nutshell, more or less, so... While yet, I guess. But uh, I think that covers it for this video. Thank you all for watching, and I hope you enjoyed, and uh, we'll see you all next time when I play Bastion with a special guest. See you later.